So as promised, this is the footage of that comedy competition that I went to, that I participated in. Uh, I did not win it, unfortunately, but that wasn't really the point of it anyway. Uh, just as trying to get as much time on stage as I possibly can, honing the craft, sharpening the steel, blah, 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 blah. Uh, not lifting today, only gonna go to work, eat steak, play video games, hashtag adult harder than me, it's impossible, yellow poncho, win, fuck it. Lift, laugh, li fucking up my own shit. Lift, laugh, live, lift heavy, laugh hard, and live your damn life. Enjoy the footage. Turn this off. Tonight, this is fucking awesome. Huge crowd here. Really, give yourselves a round of applause for coming out and supporting my comedy. That's awesome. Yeah. So uh, earlier today, I was in one of those like high-end coffee shops. You know, the ones who want to save the rainforest or whatever because I'm a part-time faggot. Um, <laughs> sorry. Uh, so I was in this coffee shop and I walked up to the front of the line and uh, they were like, "Oh, we have two special roasts for you today." I was like, "Oh, cool, awesome. Let's hear about them." First one was a dark roast. It's a very robust flavor, you know, very aggressive flavor, gets you up in the morning, and we call it the John Wayne blend. I'm like, oh, that's cool, John Wayne, rough and tumble kind of a guy. Ironically, probably doesn't need coffee to wake up in the morning, but I get it, I like the idea. The second one didn't make any sense. Uh, a lighter roast coffee, higher caffeine content. It made people happy, you know, it made everybody's day start on a happy note, and we call it the Ethiopian blend. <laughs> I was like, do you, do you open books? Like, do you, nothing? I was like, Ethiopian blend, that makes me happy. Nothing happier than catching your fucking rice dinner out of a helicopter, or swatting flies off your dying children. <laughs> so, uh... <laughs> Um, so, so in the last couple of weeks of my life have been great. I uh, actually went on a date the other night. Uh, this girl was fantastic. You know, we went out for drinks, whatever. Uh, two things happened that made me very uncomfortable. One of which, she got me high. Uh, and I don't do high well. I overanalyze everything. And uh, the second thing she did, and uh, this is really bad, is she had sex with me. Wait, no, that, that's the good thing that happened. The bad thing that happened is during sex, she put music on. Any guy in here, when a girl has sex with you and puts music on, you have to hump to the beat. Like, you have to hump to the beat of the song. And uh, if you don't hump to the beat of the song, your dick swinging game is so not on point. Black guys, what up? Nothing? All right, fair. Um, so she put on this fucking Fetty Wap song, and I'm a white, and I'm a white guy? And I was like, guessing where the beat was coming? Like, I have no fucking idea. Like, I understand the idea of putting music on during sex, because like, if you put a penis in a vagina at the wrong angle, it sounds like you're punching silly putty. Like, it's, it's fucking, it's weird. So I understood it. But I, me being a white guy and not being a rap song, I just couldn't figure it out. I didn't have the cardio for it. It was terrible. So, uh, ironically enough, I was actually in a relationship for about four or five years. We recently broke it up about six or seven months ago. This is where everybody feels bad. Uh, right, yeah, no, she's a whore. Uh, but, <laughs> I have to say that I, I was really shocked when we broke up because I really, really thought that we'd be together for a long time. But I realize now, like I, find, I fucking get it. I totally understand why we broke up. We had nothing in common. You know, like you're supposed to have all sorts of, you know, hobbies you do together, all sorts of shit like that. And uh, to be honest with you, I uh, <laughs> didn't have anything in common with her. I, I like to do sports, I like to run, I like to, you know, stay healthy, read books or whatever. And she had this one hobby where, uh, what was it? Oh, finding really cool ways to put other guys' dicks in her mouth? Like, um, she had like the weirdest Pinterest. It was just like, one dick, uh, two dicks. <laughs> she, was, she was an expert, she was an expert. But uh, I mentioned earlier that she got me high, and while we were having sex, it was kind of an issue because realistically, like you're having sex, like it's like, oh yeah, girl, you like that girl, yeah, cool, like you're saying that, but realistically in your head, my weed brain was like, 
why do I keep saying girls so much? <laughs> Is that derogatory towards women? <laughs> oh my god, she's gonna think I'm a fucking pedophile. <laughs> pedophile sounds like an animal. <laughs> I fucking love animals. <laughs> oh fuck, I left my dog outside. <laughs> and then I'm not humping to the beat ever, and my dick is totally soft, and I just can't do anything about it. <laughs> but I really do want to thank you guys for coming out tonight. That's all for me, my Sam Brown. Thank you all for coming out.